Greetings! So, for transmutation, it is five levels underground in a canteen in a nuclear facility. And in the canteen, I am expecting to have picnic tables as dining tables. So I've already gone ahead and practiced this and made these, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be recapping on what I did to make these picnic tables. Originally, they were just placeholder rectangles with box colliders and then once I went and finished my picnic tables I ended up importing them into Unity and these are my picnic tables. Cool. Alright, so for a picnic table I'm going to start with my four perspective views top, front, left and perspective. I'm going to start by going to my create tab, geometry box and in my top I'm just going to create a simple rectangle resemble the top of a picnic table give or take something like that make it a little bit high cool and I'm going to come over here and make it length so let's have a quick peek at the reference image oh yeah long thin so I'm going to make the top let's see if we make that 50 make this how wide? 30. Yeah, that might do. And height, we'll set it to about 2 thick. 3 thick. 3 thick will do. So once I've got that, I'm going to select my select and move. I'm going to right click that to bring up the transform. So I would like that to be dead center of the world. But because it's going to have legs, I would like to bring it up just a slight bit. And that'll do for now about 11 up. I'll make that around 11 for now. i close that. I'm going to go to my... We're still in create. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to create line. So from the left view, we can see that this is the left view of the table. I'm going to place one of the legs of the chairs. So while I've got my line selected, I'm going to click about there where a line might be of one of the legs. I'm going to hold shift nope I'm not going to hold shift I'm going to click I'm just going to click and release my click and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag straight down to where it might meet the ground which is those black lines I'm going to left click and release so I'm going to hold shift again bring the leg out to about where a leg seems appropriate might be for a, a table. I'm going to left click again. I'm going to hold shift again so it straightens up. Place the leg where it might sit so they have room about there. Then I'm going to right click to finish that. So now I'm going to select my select and move tool and because my table is facing the wrong way I'm going to select my table just for the sake of this. Go back to, what is this one called? That's called the uh, modify. So that's just gonna bring up the transform of it. So I might make, I might switch the length and width of these to make this 30, to make that 50. So that's long that way, so that's gonna match up with my leg for now. I could always rotate the leg, but for this purpose, I'll just change the size of the top. So I'm going to select my leg again, and I'm going to move it into position of where it might seem fitting for where the legs would be positioned, so towards the end more or less. And I'm going to drag it, I'm going to drag it close towards the end, so about there right where that joint is on that little one there. I'm going to right click, clone, and I would like to make a copy of it, not an instance at this point. Instance is going to if I make an instance of it, the original object that I'm selecting is going to alter every instance of that object. So for now, I'm just going to make a copy. And I'm going to move it over this way a bit. So with my select tool selected, I'm going to click the original one. I'm going to right click the transform and because this is world space, its current position is negative 20 on the X. So if I move, if I adjust that, you can see it's sliding backwards and forwards. I want to set that to a a round value of negative 20. I would like to select 
the other leg and I would like to select that to be around positive 20 so they're at opposite ends. I'm going to hold control, I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to right click, clone, make a copy of them, which will make three and four. I'm going to select my round tool, sorry not my round tool, my rotate tool. And I'm going to rotate them on the Z axis I believe. So I'm just going to control Z to undo that and I'm going to right click the rotate tool which will bring up the rotate transform and I'm going to make that a perfect 180 rotation. Uh, maybe not, I'm going to make that a, a perfect 90 rotation. It's like three and four. There, perfect 90. Remove that, select my move tool. I'm not going to move them down, that's the wrong one. We're going to move X, we're going to move them across. So if we select this leg and we're going to right click transform, it is currently in negative 15 on the Y transform. So if we select the first line, the second line, we're going to make them the exact same round number of negative 15, going to get line 3 and 4, make them around positive 15. So they're in the exact location but opposite. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go and make every single one of these have an editable poly, because technically they are only lines at the moment. Cool, now all of those have an editable poly. So with that done, I'm going to go to my create tab in a box. So I'm going to go and make a box that's going to be the seat. Make that yay high for now. So, small thin seat, similar to the top. So, if I remember correctly, box 1, if we select the modifiers tab, was 30 in length and 50 in width. So if we get our box number 2, which we can name to seat left, we'll make this, so length is the width in this case, we'll make that around 5. And we want the length, oh sorry, the width to be exactly the same as the table, 50, so they're identical. I'm going to right click, clone, make a copy of it, and instead of naming that seat left 1, we're going to call that seat right. Oops. Seat right, and we're going to drag and move that there. So seat left was, if we right click select the move, was positioned directly at around 20, so we're going to make that a positive round 20, which will be close to the middle of where that pipe meets the seat. Make that a perfect round 0, make the Z 0. So the Y being a positive 20, we're going to select the left seat, sorry the right seat, we're going to make that a perfect round negative 20, set the X to 0 so it's in the perfect position. Now that we've got both of those, we're going to select that and the left seat, we're going to bring those up, so if we zoom in a little bit and we click the, the mouse wheel, Click and hold, we can drag the screen so the, the pipes end up meeting inside of the, the seats. So if I hold Alt and mouse middle wheel, I can rotate the camera and then just simple middle wheel to move. So, picnic table, nothing too fancy, it's got some, not some curvy seat pipes but straight seat pipes for the purpose of not messing it up completely. We're going to select box one which will be tabletop, tabletop, line one, line two, line three, line four. So because that's seat left we're going to call left pipe 
one. Line three should be left pipe two. Right, right, pipe one. Right, pipe two. So the tabletop is the. We're going to make that the big parent object. I'm going to put the seat right underneath the table, seat left underneath the table, right pipe two, and right pipe one underneath. Under, sorry, underneath the right seat. Left pipe two can go under the seat left that. Cool. We're going to select the tabletop. We're going to make this a nice fancy blue. We're going to change the current color to be a custom one. We're going to have full saturation, no green, no red, full blue. Okay. We're going to do the same with the left seat and right seat. Bring this out a little bit. Seat right, seat left. Do the same thing. No green, no red, full saturation. Make them blue seats. We're going to select right pipe one, two. By holding control, I've selected all of those. Click current color. No, we're not going to make them blue. We're going to make them. Going to make them grey. Cool. Maximize. There's my picnic table. I'm not going to do the mesh in between the seats and the the tabletop. It's a bit too fancy for me at the moment, but for now, that'll do with the picnic table. Like I said, I've already made my own picking table and imported that into Unity. So for the sake of it, I've already saved it and exported it, but if you don't know how, max, save, or in this case, save as, save it as the name that you want, and then export, export, and then it's FPX file, name it what you want, export it, it'll go into the 3ds max export folder. And then when you would like to go find it, you go into where that folder was and drag and drop that into Unity. Cool. There's my picnic table.